Hi there again. Today we're going to be working with blog boards. Um, these are a layout tool that I like to include if you've got a front page design or something like that. Um, just gives you a nice graphic element um, to display a group of photos all together. Um, we can use these on blogs, on front pages of your websites, um, just as nice banner styles as well. We've actually got a few collections of these coming up in our online store too, so you can actually go and purchase these sets and have some layouts already and set to go for your blog. So today we're going to show you how to put some photos into this standard template. Um, and this will actually work on if you've been sent a template for your front page layout as well. This will also work. So we've got some photos open here, so we're just going to go through make a selection of the photo that we want. Now I'm just going to copy and paste. So we're just going to, on my Mac here, it's Command X. On a PC, it would be Control X to actually cut that photo. And then Control V to paste. As you can see from the, where this picture has gone sitting, it's actually above these two layers here and then it's underneath these ones. So we can see that in our layout order here in Photoshop. What I actually want to do with this one is have this set so it's here on this bottom rectangle. So I've laid this picture over the top and now I just want to click Create Clipping Mask. As you can see, it's actually taken away most of my picture, but it's actually left that photo under that rectangle. So we're going to do a quick transform. So that's Control and T to transform this. And now while holding the Shift key, we can resize that image to make it fit into our little rectangle a bit better. We can just move that and position it underneath. And there we go. That actually keeps us in the bounds of that rectangle. So you'll always have a nice smooth layout from this and you can just copy in whichever picture you'd like to. So now on to our next photo. So we'll click onto this rectangle and we'll fill this one next. We take this picture and we do the same again. We make a selection and then we're going to cut that and paste it into our original file. As you can see, it's still under this layer here, but it's above our rectangle. So once again, right click, create clipping mask, and we can see that's gone in there. So we'll just resize this one again and make sure it fits into our box nicely. Now, as you can see, you can group a whole lot of different photos together this way. And it just gives you a nice little border without having to do the layout and the graphic part yourself as well. And we'll do a nice big one up the top here. I might go with this one here. So again, we select and cut and paste on top of that layer there. Now what we can see, this one is actually a little bit smaller than our image on the sides here. So when I click that to make it a clipping mask, it's going to leave me with a gray border, which I don't want on my layout, keeping it nice and smooth looking. I don't want that. So we're going to control T and that's also a free transform in your um, menus up at the top as well. Now again we're going to click shift but this time we're going to drag it out. So we're actually making that photo bigger to make it fit across that screen width there. We just make it sure that it lays over the edges. And that will actually, depending on the resolution of your photo, that will actually give you still a really good quality photo to include at the top there. So I'll move that down. And as you can see, we're still keeping all of the borders in our page as well. So you've actually still got a really nice layout. We'll pop this one in as well. So select and cut. And then we want to paste on top of that one. Now if we click Create Clipping Mask and then edit the file, the picture to make sure it fits into our box there. 
So you can do this with a number of different photos. Um, they're great for mood boards and things as well where you're actually displaying different colours um, and to give you an idea from that. These also work really well on the front pages of your website so it's a good way to actually keep updated but if you're showing off a few different products you can actually show them all in the one grouping and still have it nice and neat and as the site's been designed. So you can actually pop over to our website which is morrisbear.com.au slash shop and you can actually buy those online. Um, we've got some a few different options in there with more coming as we go along as well. It's not really the best colour to have on there. Um, but yes, you can definitely jump on over there and have a look at what we've got. And you can download those directly. We are also working on some different sizes. So if you've got a request, um, something to fit in with your front page or anything like that, pop, on a, pop a request in the comments below and I'll get started on making a set to suit your site. Talk to you soon. Bye.